We've seen many tennis players come and go, but once the emotions really start to surface on court, you know you're in for something truly memorable. Rackets get broken, hairs messed up, and lots of tears are shed. In this video, we'll be recapping some of the most emotional Grand Slam victories in tennis history that are alive in everyone's hearts. Starting off with the underdog in the Wimbledon final. It's always wildly exhilarating to support the underdog in any match. Well, playing as an unseated player in the Wimbledon final against one of the world's best tennis players is as underdog as you can get. We're of course, talking about Goran Ivanisevic winning the Wimbledon title against all odds in 2001. Today, you might know him as Novak Djokovic's coach, but two decades ago, he was competing against the top players of the world to clutch the Wimbledon title once and for all. He had previously reached the finals of the Wimbledon tournament three times, but couldn't get past the finishing line each time. With his age creeping up on him, it seemed as if the Croatian had to give up his dream of winning a Grand Slam title. But in 2001, he had his one last shot as he entered the Wimbledon tournament as a wild card entry. He was ranked 125 in the world at that time, competing against the top 10s. He somehow beat all the greats like Andy Roddick and Tim Henman to reach the final against Australia's Pat Rafter. Facing a fierce crowd that mostly consisted of Australians and competing against the former US Open champion, Goran was clearly overpowered. But after a crazy five set showdown, the underdog ended up winning his first and only Grand Slam title. Right after shaking hands with Rafter, he rushed up the stairs to hug his coach and his father to celebrate what can be called the greatest victory of his life. Next up, two tennis titans make history at Wimbledon once again. By 2007, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal had created an impressive rivalry that only got better each time the two titans clashed. Tennis fans around the world awaited the moment the two would have to face each other off in a big final match. Well, that finally happened in 2008 when the two faced each other in the Wimbledon final. For Nadal, it was his chance at redemption since he had lost to the 2007 Wimbledon final against Federer. When the match began, it was clear that both sides had equally strong motivations. Even the crowd couldn't decide who to support. Nadal won the first two sets, and Federer won the next two. But in the fourth set, the Swiss had to fight off two match points, so the cracks were appearing. In the fifth and final set, the two took the match to a tiebreaker. Even though Federer had 89 winners, he still lost against Nadal. It was the longest Wimbledon in final, clocking in at 4 hours and 48 minutes. When it finally ended at 9.16 p.m., it had become nighttime and the court was covered in darkness with Nadal's shield shining the brightest. Talk about a dramatic victory. People still recall this epic match between the two greatest players tennis has ever seen as the highlight of Wimbledon history. If you're a tennis fan, you're no stranger to the heated competition between Steffi Graf and Monica Celeste. The rivalry between these two icons dominated the 1990s. Both had distinct playing styles, with Graf leading a more offensive match and Celeste having a rather defensive approach. When the two clashed again in 1992 in the French Open final, they had gathered some impressive wins under their belt. Steffi Graf, being 23 at the time, had won about 10 Grand Slams, while Monica Celeste, being 19 at the time, had won about 5 of them. The 19-year-old player had also retaken the number one spot from Graf, pushing her down to the second spot in the world ranking. So the French Open final meant a lot to both of them. In the first set, Celeste seemed to have an upper hand, forcing her German opponent to run around the court. In the second set, Graf regained her composure, with her serve being her main attack. Everything came down to the third set. This is where history was written. Lasting a total of 91 minutes and 18 games, this set saw the two players give the best performance of their careers. Steffi went more aggressive, and Celeste blocked her attempts. Ultimately, Monica Celeste emerged victorious. She remembers that match as, quote, the most emotional match I have ever played. This match is also memorable because both players were at the peaks of their careers. Sadly, after suffering a traumatic stabbing incident in 1993, Celeste could never regain her old self back. Moving on to a redemptive win by John McEnroe. Being emotional on the court doesn't always mean shedding a few tears. There is more than one way of expressing your feelings during a match. For John McEnroe, that was mostly through anger and frustration. He quickly earned a reputation of having rather emotional outbursts on the court and having long arguments with the umpire. But in the first round of the 1981 Wimbledon, he really went ahead and had an epic meltdown that has been immortalized in history. After the umpire Edward where James declared his serve to be outside of the boundary, McEnroe lost it and shouted, You cannot be serious. He went back and forth with the umpire and ended up winning the match, but he earned plenty of hate and criticism for his behavior. But for McEnroe, he had to defeat his longtime tennis rival Bjorn Borg in the final. When he showed up on the court on the day of the final, he received a lot of boos from the crowd. But the American player had his eyes set on the trophy and defeated the five times defending Wimbledon champion. Borg had snatched the Wimbledon title from him in the previous year. He wasn't about to let it go that time. Finally, after four sets, he ended up winning his
his first Wimbledon title and earned back that pride. And now, tennis legend Roger Federer's historical win. Tennis fan or not, everyone's heard of Roger Federer. The man has defined an entire era of tennis for us. While it's his talent and skill that have led him to his victories, it's truly his emotions and the passion with which he plays that move us to tears. There are plenty of Grand Slam wins by this icon that has brought tears to our eyes, but his Australian Open win in 2018 might surpass all the rest of the wins because of the prize that lay ahead of it. After defeating Marin Cilic in the final of the tournament, Federer broke a number of records. The Swiss player defeated his opponent in an anxiety-inducing five-set match. Many doubted if he could clutch the Australian Open title for the sixth time. Being 37 years old, many feared his retirement was on the horizon, but he shocked all his critics by being the oldest man to ever win a singles Grand Slam title since Ken Roswell in 1972. But that isn't the end of his records. After this win, he became the only man to have won a total of 20 Grand Slams in the world. In his emotional acceptance speech, the Swiss player teared up many times while looking at the crowd. He explained that this moment was, quote, a dream come true, and that for him, the fairy tale would only continue from that point onwards. Finally, we have the best match between Nadal and Djokovic. For a match to be regarded as one of the best tennis matches of all time, you'd expect there to be a lot of heightened emotions involved. Well, that's exactly what happened in the Australian Open final in 2012. With this final, Novak Djokovic looked to make a successful return, while Rafael Nadal hoped to regain the number one spot in the rankings. World number one and world number two faced each other in what became the longest match in Grand Slam finals history and was certainly the longest Australian Open final. The match lasted five hours and 53 minutes. It began on Sunday evening and ended at 1.37 a.m. on Monday. What happened in those hours was nothing short of a wonder. With each set being a close win for either of the players, it was truly a test of their nerves. Nadal won the first set, while Djokovic won the second. The third set was the shortest of the bunch, with Djokovic winning by 6-2. When it came to the fourth set, it was clear that Nadal wasn't going to step down easily. He won the fourth one, and then, in the final set, Djokovic ended up winning by 7-5. The two players were so exhausted by the end of it that they were given chairs during their speeches. For Nadal, it was a match that would stay in his mind forever, not because of how he lost, but because of the way they both played. That's a wrap for this video. What's your pick from these emotional victories? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.